Yes, my name is Samir Gandhi. I'm a partner at Axel Partners in Palo Alto, California. Okay, so the, so the U.S. Growth Fund is uh, is a fund. It's a growth equity fund that's really intended to finance companies that have gotten to a state of maturity that doesn't make it suitable for venture capital. But in essence, it's very much thematically the same as what we do with early stage venture capital. We're trying to back founder entrepreneurs that have built businesses, oftentimes bootstrapped their companies, have gotten them to a certain scale where often they're cash flow positive, but they're still looking for their first investor and business partner to help them build their company to the next stage. and. Uh, you know, we, that's the point where we might enter in and be able to be that financial partner. And then that first business partner that they have as they think about scaling to international markets or expanding their businesses and other uh, product categories or recruiting executive team or board members, things like that. Um, a lot of the same work we do in venture capital. And that fund is uh, predominantly oriented for the US, but very frequently we find companies in other parts of the world that r have those same characteristics. And um, you know, we're, we're excited about being able to invest in some, some of those those companies that happen to be in emerging markets as well. Right. Well, India, India is a fascinating opportunity. It's uh, it's very early days, but it is such a large uh, market domestically, with many attributes that sort of are very consistent with the way that we think about things from the U.S. And we have a highly educated population, very technical, English speaking, a big, huge middle class. Um, and so we see so many opportunities for new companies to get started and to serve you know, that constituency in the U.S. And so our, our India uh, fund, which we set up uh, in 2008 with four partners here that are located in Bangalore, that are from India, it's a very local operation that's, that's connected to the Axel Global Platform. And uh, initially we started out really being focused on the kinds of companies that could serve uh, this emerging uh, middle class from a consumption perspective. So we've done digital media, e-commerce, um, education services, healthcare, and biotech. Uh, and then we see in the evolution of that now today where this um, incredible technical talent that exists here in India is creating new types of uh, software products, cloud services, and other technologies that really now are addressing not only India, but global markets. Well, um, we're, we have a huge initiative globally around something that we've called, other people call big data, which is really the reimagining of the whole business intelligence and analytics infrastructure within enterprises. And, uh, and it's various software platforms and uh, cloud-based services that really um, are targeted at building this whole new uh, uh, BI stack uh, in these companies and uh, it's an initiative where we found companies all over the world that fit into um, you know framework that we've developed and we have even a big data fund that's oriented at investing at these types of companies and um, some of those companies have come from India. Well I think it, in, in general talent is always um, scarce, amazing talent is scarce but one of the things that has always excited us about India is of the very rich and deep technical population that exists and it comes a lot from having incredible universities um, and uh, you know the, just the sheer number of uh, very talented engineers, software engineers that um, are trained here um, it, you know it makes it a uh, a place where you know a center of innovation globally that we think is going to be that way for a long period of time uh, and then obviously you've got a lot of companies here too you I mean you've got uh, Amazon and Google and Yahoo and Oracle and Cisco and all these other companies that have also you know recruited amazing engineers and so I think I think this area will be a, a rich area for us in terms of talent um, certainly from an engineering standpoint and then over time what we'd hope to see is uh, entrepreneurs uh, product talent, design talent, all those other things being developed too. And, and certainly today a company get, can get started anywhere in the world and address global markets in a way that is easier than it's ever been. Not that it's easy, but it's certainly easier than it's ever been. Uh, it's a great question. There's no, there's no particular one right answer, but at least certainly things that I look for. One is it really starts with an entrepreneur that's incredibly knowledgeable, but also very passionate about uh, solving a fundamental problem that maybe he or she has for himself, but that's a problem that somebody has 
uh, that a lot of people have, you know, within India or with, or, or even go globally, and uh, and it starts with that. I mean, you know, it's hard to replace uh, true insight and passion that an entrepreneur brings. Brings, and so we, you know, we're very excited about working with these dynamic founders, really extraordinary people. And I'd say that's that's number one. The second thing is, you know, fun fundamentally, we're looking for things that um, opportunities that really address big problems and therefore big markets. And so, you know, there's many things that could be interesting, but they can end up being very focused or niche or smaller, which is fine. It, they're, they tend to be less appropriate for venture capital, especially a global venture capital firm. Um, so we look for things where we can point to um, large addressable markets, um, where a, a young company can come, a startup can come, and really have a distinctive advantage over um, incumbents or larger companies um, or other large competitors that might want to enter that market, and uh, and then ultimately can be the market share leader in that large market. So we look at that very carefully, and you know try to ensure that we're operating in space in spaces that are very very big. And then I think um, you know lastly it's. Uh, we are very thematic or thesis driven around things and so we look you know we, we try to establish what we think are trends over a long period of time where a number of companies can emerge and be very successful and you know we look to see whether companies that we invest in fit within those trends or if they don't then there's a question of whether there's a new trend or whether it's something that we have an expert whether we have an expertise or not and uh, and we really like to be able to be active and add significant value in partnering with these entrepreneurs and have them view us as a very trusted partner and advisor in that business and so it's uh, it comes from being very steeped in and have an under, having an understanding of the markets and spaces that they operate in and we try to do that very carefully as well.